Hey everyone, in this video we're going to create anime style tiers. Shown here in this reference image, that's this part right here. So, first off we're going to model it, get the shape, and then we're going to create the shader for it. So, first thing we're going to do is add in a UV sphere, shift A, UV sphere. Then we're going to move it to our reference image so we can kind of get the shape of it. Let's scale this one down. It's smooth. Alright, so click our image and make no transparency so it's easier for us to model it. Ooh. And opacity in front. Thirty. Okay, thirty percent. All right. So we're gonna go into edit mode, and we're gonna turn on proportional editing here. And then we're going to go to edit mode. Let's see. And we're just going to grab the vertices and align it. Shape over. Kind of get the rough shape of it. I think that's okay. All right, let's leave it there for now. Here's this. But that's okay for now. All right, so let's get out of this and go back to the object. We have it like this. I guess this one can go down a little bit more. Okay. So here we have our shape. It's going to be like this. All right. So now you only care about the front side. Backside, you don't have to care about. Now we just have to go to our shader now. So here we are in our shading tab. So first, we're going to make a new material. Let's call it tears. All right, so move, move this. It's the tears. So. Delete the Prince of PSDF. Then we're going to add in a layer weight node and a color ramp. So the first thing we're going to do here is going to create the white outline that's around the water here. We're going to do that with these two nodes. So connect these two together. Change the color ramp to constant. And just click. And you just move it down. And see that we have a white border now. And then the more closer you move it in, the more thicker the line is. 
we don't want that thick, so we'll leave it up here. It is fine. All right, so now we want to make this transparent. Because water is transparent. Next, we're going to add in a transparent leader, transparent BSDF, and a emission shader. We're going to mix those two with a mix shader. Get the transparent PSDF to the first socket, emission to the second one, and then we're going to use our outline as the factor for mix shader. See what this looks like. Looks like this. But to actually make it transparent, we have to go to our material properties and click the blend mode to alpha blend. Now it's blend, and then we have to uncheck no file face because we don't want to show the back. Now it's transparent. And then we want to. It's the color of the transparency. We can change it here. If it's kind of blue, so let's choose a blue color. Okay, this is like a little blue. Yeah. Okay. All right, so next is the, the highlight. So this here has a highlight, so like a white circle here, here and also uh, another dark shadow here. So in order to make that, we're going to add in another shader to make that circle. The highlight, the tears. And we can make that circle procedurally. And to do that, I didn't make this method. This was from uh, another tutorial of how to make a circle procedurally. Uh, I have the link in the description below if you want to look at the explanation of how to do that in detail. But for now, the here, I'm just going to put the nodes in and we see what we have. First, we need a texture coordinate, then a mapping node, and a separate XYZ. And we need a few math nodes. So It's five math nodes. So the first one is going to be object vector, and then vector to vector here. Then the x is going to go here, and we're going to change this one to power. That one is also power. Y axis. We're going to add these two together. We're going to take this and make it the square root. And we're going to take this and make it less than. All right, so after you have these, uh, we also have to change the exponent to times two, two. And then let's see what this looks like. Okay, so we have uh, like a white spot right there. We also have to change the scale of this because it might be too big. 
I'm gonna put in the value node so we can change the scale values of all three at once. Put it around like here, I think. Good. And then we just have to move this circle to um, wherever we want on this mesh. We want it around here, so let's play around the location coordinates. Move it around, so this. This. Alright, so this is good. So smaller. Remove it. Okay. That looks okay. All right, and then we can add in a emission shader in between here. And we can, then we have to add these two together with a and shader. This one bottom, put this up. See what this looks like. So we have this. We have the white outline with the the highlights. Okay. And then sometimes they have maybe a highlight ones to glow or some kind of emission, you can increase the strength like two. In order to see that we can go to the render properties and then at bloom. You can see it glow. Okay, so that's that's that part. So now uh this shadow part. So we, we have just have to put another circle down here. It's a color. So let's just duplicate and duplicate all this. Putting this too. So let's put this and then move it down here. We have to make a smooth. Okay, look around there. Move it this way. Here. Up like that. Okay, so we have this. Um, we can add a color ramp, make the color of this also. Just a constant. Change this to blue. And then we and we just have to add these two together again. Let's duplicate this. There you have it. Uh, 
not too bright. Let's make sure. Let's make this one. It's just not that bright. A little lighter. Darker. You can also change the color of this circle too if you wanted to. Add another color ramp here. Austin and changing the uh, lighter. Light blue. Okay, there you have it. I think that's it. In case anyone was wondering uh, what it looks like on my character, it looks like this. I duplicated the object, put on both eyes underneath, and it has the same changes that we just made. The online here, here plus the here. Alright, and then that was it. I hope it was helpful for somebody. And until next time.